Florida, what are you doing? Who are you again? 6969. Six, <laughs> Tell me about the aliens. <laughs> You're looking for the most haunted spots in the Midwest, huh? There's more than corn in Indiana. There's also ghosts. Wait, is it actually my turn to just sit here quietly while names just pop up in the subtitles? The Mantino State Hospital turned into a veteran's home, but the ghosts are still there. The University of Notre Dame's got a lot more than just some fighting Irish. They have ghosts. I mean, they, they, go, they have ghosts. Go put a chocolate bar in the Rainbow Bridge in Lake City. Try to find the staircase to hell on Halloween in the Stull Cemetery. There's like over a hundred ghosts on Mackinac Island. See the ghost of a nine-year-old boy in the Gibbs Farmhouse in St. Paul. The Jesse James Farm is in Kearney. Take a drive with your windows down through Seven Sister Road in Nebraska City. You can visit the ghost of General Custer's wife at the Abraham Lincoln Custer House Museum in Mandan. Say hello to Larry the Ghost over at the Orpheum Theater in Sioux Falls. Okay, so you're driving the Bloody Bride Bridge in Stevens Point. You're gonna want to watch out for ghosts. And deer, of course. You can go see the White Lady at the Bachelor's Grove Cemetery. You could visit the Gray Lady in the Willard's Library in Evansville. Iowa State's good for football and frights. They've got some ghosts there. You could take a ghost tour in old Abilene Town. The Felt Mansion was turned into a Catholic school for boys and then a prison. It's haunted. The Bomber House Hotel in Sauk Center is a must-see, don't you know? You can have some ghost hosts in the Limp Mansion in St. Louis. If you're feeling brave, you can take a trip to the Devil's Canyon near McCook. Spend a night in the Totten Trail Inn in St. Michael. The Dakota Theater in Yankton is one of the most haunted places here. The Fister Hotel in Milwaukee is pretty expensive, but the ghosts stay free. So, you know, it's real nice for them. Ghost hunters went into the Rialto Square Theater and they said it was pretty spooky. Or take a tour of the historic Hannah House in Indianapolis. You could go say hi to the Black Angel of the Oakland Cemetery in Iowa City. Just stay a night in the Beaumont Inn in Beaumont. You'll go visit the ghost of George Mason at the Detroit Masonic Temple. There are some ghosts of dead gangsters in the Wabasha Street Caves in St. Paul. There's shadow people on Zombie Road in St. Louis, too. The Museum of Shadows in Plattsmouth may or may not have a bunch of haunted artifacts in it. The Chateau de Mores in Medora's got some ghosts, that's for sure. You can hear the sound of nobody falling downstairs at the old Minnehaha Courthouse Museum in Sioux Falls. We call Callan Road Witch Road for a reason, you know, so go take a drive to Ripa and see for yourself. Okay, and tell them witches I says hi. The Lincoln Park Zoo still got about 12,000 bodies buried under it. Gorillas and ghosts. It's a good time. You want to see some blood dripping from the walls? Go visit the Nicholson House in Indianapolis. You could spend some time walking through the Velisca Axe Murder House. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I don't think you have what it takes to go into the basement of the McIntyre Villa in Atchison. The Traverse City State Hospital is super haunted. It even has a portal to hell under the hippie tree out back. In real hell. Not the city. The spirit of John Moshe haunts the Minneapolis City Hall. Oh, and how could you come to Missouri without seeing the Exorcist House in St. Louis? Visit Blackbird Hill on October 17th and tell me if you hear the screams. The stack monster may have left the Liberty Memorial Building in Bismarck, but then again, maybe it hasn't. Stay a night in room 802 or 812 of the Alex Johnson Hotel in Rapid City. He says that Hotel Hell in Maribel has a portal to Chicago, sorry, hell. I screw those two up sometimes. You could be one of the thousands of ghost hunters that visit McPike Mansion every year. Or go tell the blue lady I said hello in the Story Inn in Nashville. My Nashville, not Tennessee's. Yeah, no, you can't forget the Independent State Mental Hospital in Independence. The Sally House in Atchison is one of the most haunted places I've got. Just spend one night at the Lilac Room in Landmark Inn in Marquette. That'll make a believer out of you. The Gray Cloud Island Township Cemetery is the highest concentration of Native American burial mounds anywhere in the country. It's haunted, but please don't visit it. You wanna try investigating the house on the hill? The Beatty Mansion is over in St. Joseph. You could visit the Bailey House Museum in Brownsville too. 
The San Haven Sanatorium in Dunseith is one of the most haunted places in the whole state. The entire town of Deadwood's pretty paranormal too. If you do comedy in the Grand Opera House in Oshkosh, you always get more applause than there are people in the room. And that's because ghosts can clap too. So, think about that. They're a great audience, by the way. They love to laugh too. Did you get it? The state independence mental, those are at wrong order. I said hello in the something of something. And at the Detroit Masonic Temple. Duh. It even has a portal to hell out back under the blah, blah, the lilac room in the blah, 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 blah. The Jesse James farm is in Missouri. <laughs> of course it is. Hosts in the Lemp Mutant. The Exorcist housed in St. Louis. Housed? Housed. Taught and trail in and somewhere. The stack monster may have less left blah 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 blah. The stack monster may have left the middle The stack monster may have left the the may or may not have a bunch of uh, 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 words. The Alex Johnson Hotel and 